Welcome everyone, we're back, Eon Guardians, where last time we talked a lot about Pokemon. Hey, I'm just blonde. Uh, there's these doors here that Def didn't see, so he's actually the blonde one. I was I testing was him the entire time. <laughs> I was testing him the entire time. Did I be looking up stats the entire time? <laughs> Heracross is probably a good pick. What? No doubt. Now we're back to this conversation, but I will be looking at time, hopefully. <laughs> well, I mean, there's only like, so. Th surely I won't mess this up. Also, yes, we did get to explode. Elise! What are you doing here? Have you come to save me? No. I really appreciate that, but we have to stop Team Guy at all costs first. What I heard from them, we don't have much time left. We <laughs> They want to recover some artifact from that heart crystal with which they want to heal the world. But you already know they're definitely shall heal. That'll be nothing good. I'll be fine on my own. But you, you defeated all the guards on the way here, I suppose. I'll sneak out, and as soon as my Pokemon are healed, I'll come back and help you. In the meantime, you must try to stop the bosses of these madmen. Here, I as well get this key card from the Selecto. Maybe you, it'll help you in their hideout. What a you stole a key card. <laughs> what a name. I'll hurry as fast as I can. Take care of yourself, Elise. And thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's do this. Going. Only a few seconds left and it's done. With the heart core and the mind dust, we can create the artifact that will allow us to heal this sick world. It'll be a hard, clear cut for the inhabitants of Terra. But in the long run, it is the only possible way to avert the end of the world. Excuse me, madam. We have company. I should have known. You can't just accept the fate of this world, can you? But no matter how hard you try, you can't prevent it. it's inevitable. The world as we know, or as it is now, is a sick world. It must be freed from all the weak and sick life that populates and weakens it. But I think after all your efforts, you deserve a little extra explanation. Besides, it doesn't matter. Because the old world will know about it anyway. Back in Topaz Oasis, when we entered the Pokra's laboratory, our goal was not only to attain the virus. No, we managed to make a rare, valuable item. The Mind Dust at that time. Mind Dust? And as you can see behind us, we are cutting out the core of the Heart Crystal. Do you think the Mind Dust takes you to the Shadow Realm? I hope not. That's what you used? Or Kaba, whoever used it? They're like, Mind Dust. You mean Mind Crush? <laughs> Same thing. With the help of the Nano Cutter. And with the help of this bluish Heart Core and the reddish Mind Dust can create the fabled soul orb. What do we want to do with it? Well, as you probably know, two legendary Pokemon are considered guardians of the Terra region. The barely sighted Eon Pokemon, Latios and Latios. A legend from long ago says that though connection of a heart and mind, the soul is born. Whoever is in possession of the soul is able to re uh, receive recognition of Latios and Latios. With the help of these two Pokemon, we can achieve great things. We'll use their tremendous power to blast the Sapphire Lake at the top of Terra. This will trigger a natural disaster of unprecedented pro uh, proportion. The healing of this world through the mercilessness of nature. The landslides which flood wipe out all the weak and sick life in Terra. Only the strongest human and Pokemon will survive these forced natures. Oh, better hope you're not a fire top or you're a Charizard, I guess. Cause fly. And finally, evolution will reign supreme over the world it was always meant to have. A little water would just put out Charizard's tail anyway, which would kill it, barely. Unless it flies. Oh. I mean, did it say it was going to rain? No. Maybe not. It looks like the Nano Cutter is almost done with its job. It's done. The Heart Coral was obtained from the Heart Crystal. Nothing stands in our way of our mission. Team Gaia will go down in history as the saviors of the new world. So you nuisance really want to keep opposing us? Can't you see what we're trying to create? She will never understand. But that is not necessary either. Thanks to the inscription on the stone plate from the Eon Shrine, we know the location of the portal to reach the world of the Eon Guardians. Scarlet, take the soul orb with you to the Eternity Island. I will take care of our troublemaker. Very well. It is very unfortunate that you cannot understand the magnificence of our mission. But there seems to be no other way. You are strong. You will survive the new beginning of this world, I'm sure. Perhaps one day you can see our ideals and utility, our mission, for the well-being of this world. 
Farewell, Elise. Don't even think about pursuing them. I will not allow you to further compromise our mission, even if I don't really want to hurt you. I will use force if necessary to calm you down. You're gonna choke us. You have often been able to hold your own against Team Gaia, but not this time. This time, you will fail. Oh yeah? Selecto? I have something I can set up on. Shift tree? Looks like something I can set up on. <laughs> you and your Pokemon are weaklings. Oh, it's a life orb shift tree. So do I just get like plus three? Let's go to town. Uh, yeah, plus three. I can't wait for him to Grant? ice shard you. <laughs> Does he get an ice shard? That would be kind of cringe. Do I have... Um, what are you looking for? I was looking for not Moomoo Moo Milk and not a full restore, but... I guess we'll just use it. Alright, well. Uh, now we just fly. And I think we just sweep with Salamence. Right, like plus three, plus four attack, plus five attack now. <laughs> oh, I guess something could live on a focus sash, like chaos. Yeah, I think that's what got. Um, oh, this. Or that. That'll also do it. Um, I'm gonna fly in case it explodes. Do we live a stone edge? I think we'll be fine. Nope. <laughs> we will not be. All right, Chokma. <laughs> I know what we must do. If he explodes, half your defense is gone. <laughs> we live. He's still surrounded, though. Metagross. Uh, do you think this thing is a physical or a special? Doesn't matter. Really quick. Should've healed. I suppose, I suppose it would matter in that case, but I should've healed. Think anyway. It's okay. Uh, we'll master fire. And flamethrower should get a bunch of damage off, right? Yeah. Houndoom. Good old Houndoom. So, what's our answer to Houndoom here? Um, I guess Bob? Normally we have a better answer, but do we live a dark pulse? Okay, Bob's our answer. Never mind. Easy selecto. Easy. Unbelievable. This strength that resides within you. I couldn't defeat you. But I was able to buy Scarlet some time to reach the destination of our journey. So your victory is meaningless. As soon as Scarlet has won over the legendary Eon Guardians Latios and Latios, your resistance will be in vain. I'm going to go after Scarlet now. I want to see the fulfillment of our dream with my own eyes. If you think you have to follow us, please try your luck. I don't expect you to give up anyway. We will be awaiting you with pleasure on Eternity Island. See you soon, kid. I guess we know where we must go. At least you're fun. I was on my way back to the storage halls when I met Aqua. After four and I searched the entire southern island without success, I came here immediately. What happened in there? Oh, you know. The same old, same old. What is Team Gaia up to? At least tells Aqua and Nick about Team Gaia's plan. Terrible. Far worse than anything I ever imagined. So many innocent people and Pokemon will perish. We can't allow that. These crazy people, they really seem up for anything. They have no time to lose. At least you're the only one who could stop them. Neither Nick nor I could take on the leaders of Team Gaia, but you did. You absolutely must track them down to Eternity Island. You must not allow them to carry out their plan. They are destroyed by their own guardians. This must not happen. We won't, don't have time to call in the Elite Four. If they'd even believe this crazy story. Here, you'll need this when you swim to Eternity Island. Silph Whirl! I got it from a company in Kato to set up my Pokemon gym in Sleetsburg City. 
It can create and dispute, uh, dissipate whirlpools. I think God has to get past these whirlpools too. Maybe you could make it in. You too? Yes. Both of you have to go to Eternity Island. Why? Why do we have to take Nick? Can we take the other guy? He's competent. I've seen you battle, Nick. You're stronger than me. And someone has to keep an eye on my little sister when I'm not around. I'll round up the other gym leaders. Maybe we can stop Latios and Latios if they really make their way to the Sapphire Lake. Counting on you both. Come on, we don't have much time left. There's James anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no <laughs> you weren't Steven this entire time. You heard, <clears throat> you heard the woman release. The Eternity Islands lie between Route 18 and 19. I'll go first. Come after you. I'll co what? Come okay. after you get ready. Yeah, come after you get ready. That was weird for me to read. But don't give yourself too much time. We could go to the shipwreck. We want to check out the shipwreck. Sure. You don't want to do the plot right now. I kind of want to check out the shipwreck and check out like this entire area. Sure, the situation is pretty urgent, but now's a good time for side quests anyway. <laughs> That's the time for Olive, Island of Regret. Uh, I know what you're going to be regretting. What? Not having repels? <laughs> not, <laughs> not taking care of the situation in a timely manner. There's a house here. Hello. Welcome to the Island of Regret. Secluded and hidden from the rest of the world, here you can reflect on all your wrong decisions. <laughs> it is a sad and personality-shaping place. Because only by reflecting on your mistakes can you gain the insight to make better decisions next time. How about you? Why did you come here? Do you also have something to regret? What do you regret? Uh, a personal decision. Hmm. You don't seem to be far enough along to admit your personal mistakes. Give yourself some more time. Oh, what about my Pokemon then? <laughs> they are indeed able to regret. Oh, this dude is huge. All right, well, I know what I'm going to be doing. I wonder if the other thing is like, do you want to change your fire, your trainer style or something? That's kind of what I was thinking, maybe. All right. Spooky ship time. So what level are your Pokemon? This will make for good training. <laughs> sure will. Uh, hey, do you think we're supposed to be here yet? Yes. I mean, this is right after you got Silk Whirl, so I assume it's fine. Yeah, it's probably fine. Maybe. I keep forgetting Lubeon is not a flying type. It's not. The storm is going to hurt, though. It's not hurt enough. Get out of here. Whoosh. Thank you. I, it, is, it is the Mirage Island theme, which I only call it that because of how many Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Never, never been there. Never uh, been that's the not the, that's not the Mirage Island I was talking about. I'm talking about well, I'm, I'm, I, obviously I said I'm making Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which had many Mirage Islands to go to instead of just, oh. like, just, just like the one. I did go to those. I really liked the flying feature. I guess, I guess it's better to say it's the sunken ship theme, even though it appears in a couple of different places. I like the sunken ship in or uh, Oras. You're called Sea Mobile. Or I think of New Mobile. I don't know anymore. I also don't know anymore. However, I can tell you that this is a terrible, terrible Pokemon. Actually, no, it was called Sea Mobile, because that's where you fought Lugia and stuff. It is, yes. Lugia and Ho-Oh, specifically. Ho-Oh was on the deck and Lugia was on the bottom. I really liked how they did that. Of course I get poisoned. Oh yeah, that's how it works in Naval Rock as well. Oh yeah, I guess uh, I guess they got rid of Naval Rock because that was was that Gen three. That was Gen three. I never uh, had that access, so I'll... I didn't either. I do know about it. Do you know about it? Did you know this lady is about to be roasted? Yes. That lady survived. I missed a cross chop. Chokma! 
He missed the one he needed to hit. Shit. Sad day. Sad, sad day. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. I think Dratini might be a solid pick, though. Only because it gets Dragon Rage kind of early. Is Dragon Rage allowed? Yeah. You can name off any dragon in your world site, you get it. But you're probably better off just getting Bagon. Bagon does not get it till very late. Actually, I don't know if Bagon even gets it. Superpower. I mean, you're better off using Bagon because it evolves five levels early. Well, I've thought about that, like, for that reason. You want something even earlier, you just get Trap Inch. I probably will pull Trap Inch. Too bad Azumarill's gonna be really bad. Does that get huge heart? It does. The water special. Oh, yeah. So, like, what can you really do there? Uh, not use water type moves. Use normal? Yeah. Wow, I just got played so hard. <laughs> Get out of here. This jump off. Oh no, it got rid of my ability. Probably give you a better ability for this equation. See, it's got really nice spadef at the moment, which is really annoying. Dump for it. Burn. So did you miss your cross shot before, brother? I did miss Again? my cross shot. Okay, I was about to say, it's like trying to earthquake. <laughs> Or we could just hit with a physical uh, a fighting second. Oh, are you talking about earlier? No. What happened is I sw I swapped into Chokma, and then he swapped into Jump Off. Oh, and then Jump Off had Moon Blast. That's like yeah. Well, had Dazzling. Oh, that's how that was. Okay. I wonder if Jump Off would be a good pick. I feel like it kind of would for status memes. I mean, you can get better. There is a pair of second here. It's like wait as well. Maybe Shroomish? Shroomish definitely doesn't get sworn until like level 40. Yeah, but I feel like, uh, is Breloom good in Gen 3? I mean, it's alright. I don't know what his special attack stat is. Alright, oh, I forgot Grass is special. <laughs> See, that's the thing, is like, trying to remember all these like, different ones. Grr, grr, grr. Krabby! Also, I kind of want to grab a Krabby. I'll say it. Like, Krabby's kind of a, a cute little Pokemon, right? As a physical attacker, as a water type. Oh, yeah, I guess it's fair. I was about to say Kronon, and then Kronon seemed like, even worse <laughs> because it, both of its types are special. Yeah. Um. Um. Uh, is Pinsir any good? I feel like I really wouldn't need Pinsir, though, if I got, like, Heracross or Scyther. 60 special attack. Seems usable. We're losing, by the way. Oh. I thought you were talking about Pinsir. I was like, wait, what? Should have went in the non filter So that way I could have, you know, taken that fireman. Get out of here. See, I think. I actually think. Houndoom benefits from a non physical special split. I agree. Also, I was thinking of Agron, but Agron evolves late too. <laughs> I was gonna heal, but I was like, nah, we're probably fine. I don't know about Melodic either. I feel like Melodic might be a solid pick. Apparently, it has less, it has less BST than Workmine. Yeah, but I feel like, ooh, that's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I feel like it's. Oh, thanks for healing. Thanks for healing me. I appreciate that. Um, I feel like the thing about Nontels, or not Nontels, uh, Melodic is like it's got some bulk to it, and it's got some nice like special, right? 
It's BSC is 540, so it actually has the second highest. Is that higher than Gyarados? I don't know if it's higher than Gyarados. Why is this thing? It definitely is evil. Da, ba, da, da. I don't know what this thing is trying to do. Like, stop it. It's the same as Gyarados. It is the same as Gyarados? I don't figure it out. Did you know like Gyarados has 100 special defense? I did not know that. Yeah, I knew Gyarados was bulky. Like, I, th that's why I think the first pick is definitely Gyarados. Another thing I was thinking of is like fossils. I feel like Aerodactyl is a good one. Like, its moveset kind of sucks, but do you really need it to have a good moveset? Like, if you get like wing attack early? Sure. If you're doing a randomizer, then your well, what your Pokemon can like use is random anyway. Uh, we're not randomizing that part of it. The only so, the TMs are, so the TMs will always be the same. Uh, well, the TM locations will be this different, but like learn set stuff, it will all be the same. That's what, That's what I meant. So, the, so you're not going to get like air. So you're going to get like air release from Winona or something. Yeah, yeah, it could be. It could be crap. Probably. Though. Well, yeah, but I assume Pokemon will still be capable of learning the same TM number. Yes. Correct. So, like, Aerodactyl could still learn Earthquake. If it does learn Earthquake, which it doesn't in Gen 1. But... It won't... It, well, no. It, it'll be able to learn stuff like... If it got, like... You could probably learn Rock Tomb, so you'd probably get... If you got Earthquake from... If you got Earthquake from... Roxanne... Then you could use Earthquake on Aerodactyl, but if you got it from like Watson, who would give you a Shockwave, you probably can't learn it. Well, I mean, he would still be able to learn it. Like the TM moves, like TM stay the like TM move sets are different, or the TM's like locations are different, but the uh, TM move pools are the same. What am I oh, planning? so 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 the so, okay, so the TM moves just been moved around. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, right. So like. Earthquake is still learnable by everything that's got Earthquake. I really do. But, for instance, you know, we're not going to be able to take you to Charizard Flamethrower. I mean, not Flamethrower. So, so, Team 01 will always be Focus Punch, but it'll get it somewhere else. Yes. Okay. Uh... Or I guess I could have said Team 02, which I know is actually Dragon Claw. Is that Dragon Claw? I think it usually is Dragon Claw. I don't know if it is in Gen 3, though. I remember a TM01 was actually uh, Mega Punch. Mega Punch? I'm pretty sure it's Focus Punch now. It's Mega Punch. Source I'm pretty sure me. Mega Punch is not TM01. No, it is. Trust me. I, I, I know. Trust me, bro. Source, trust me. Really like to uh, get around, don't they? And then Gen 9, it's takedown. Nice. This Smeargle just arrow blasted me. <laughs> What'd you expect, the Smeargle? I, you know, I wasn't expecting an arrow blast. And Sacred Fire. <laughs> Leave me alone. What other moves do you have? No, it's not. I never know. Deep Sea Scale. See, that's Contender right there. See, it'll be the true underdog story you always wanted. Well, I mean, you'd see it on the field. Oh, I guess it's true. He's trying to tell me something. Shipper knows what Pelipper is worried about. Missing its kid, probably. That's what I would have to think about that. Or it was a uh, partner to a captain or something. Good, maybe. What about Seeking? CK new challengers. What low key? What about Waylord? Is Waylord any good? Pretty sure Waylord is just has a lot of health. That's it. Yeah. Sharpedo. Well, I guess Sharpedo. He has good water. Or special. That is unfortunate. And yeah, TML2 has been Dragon Claw in most of the generations. <laughs> what about Tentacruel? 
Tentacruel's all right. I use it in Gen 4. No, it's really matters for Gen 3. I feel like Tentacruel's pretty solid. Honestly. Poison, poison is physical, by the way. Poison is physical? I don't yeah. know if it's a physical or a special attacker. It's a special attacker. I know it's, like, specially bulky. You know that. But that's about all I know. Cloister. I mean, uh, whatever I just said. What about Cloister? You think Cloister is good? Actually, Tentacruel's physical attack is 70, physical attack is 80. Okay. Cloister is very defensive and physical, I think. I don't know if Cloister gets skill. Skill link didn't exist until like Gen 6. So it basically only got shell armor, I think. Gyarados kind of resist everything. It was just like, that's fine though. I can come in here and get an easy KO. Although I'm pretty sure this is the last one. I don't know if I can. But all this thing doesn't have a fly swing. Sorry. I'm too far deaf. Hariyama. What about Hariyama? A lot of help. And the attack, but less health, more health. Uh, what about Lucario? An option. Yeah. I feel like Lucario would be a pretty solid pick, but uh, not the pick for us. Oh, I also recently got me a shiny Lucario. It uh, its shiny looks better than I thought it was. This Hariyama might have guts. You know what? I should get a Hariyama because it also needs guts. So we get an entire guts team. <laughs> entire guts team would just have jump left to like. Or whatever. Stun Spore. Stun Spore Strat. Is there a way to burn other than Willow Wisp? Is there a burn seed type of deal? I feel like that's such a scuffed thing. It's so scuffed. What about Gold Duck? Not impressive. Just out weather, whatever that's worth. I feel like it's not impressive, but I feel like it actually might be from where I just have never used to cold bug. It also slow you down because you always had to see the cloud nine effect. That is true. What about Dugong? Dugong any good? I've heard not a lot about Dugong. Could be its chance though. <laughs> Could be. I also like we split the hitmons up and like remove Tyro because that's also kind of a nightmare to manage. That dude seems sus. So, talking about a Dugong. I'm trying to think of like Starmie, I feel like would be a good pick, right? Starmie is pretty solid. Same thing for Lapras. Lapras, I think, is not as solid. Really tanky though. My knowledge of Gen 3, like. Worth is kind of lacking, honestly. Same. I didn't really do much like competitively until like Gen 4. So, there's that. You know. I don't know. I, there's just so many options. So many options. I mean, there is always the best option, obviously. That's Warple. Sorry, I've been saying Smeargle, but Warple is something I was thinking about also. Oh, the camera. Uh, I low-key, like, Kind of think, can we already get a DC, deep sea tooth? Or did we get a scale? We probably got a deep sea scale. Because you were talking about Gorbis earlier. Well, I mean, like earlier, like. Just a couple minutes ago. Eh. Why are we getting poison? I'll show you a thing or three. Def, I don't know how much you pay to the DLC. Yeah, New Xenoblade DLC. It's like right Shadow now. dropped, like the trailer dropped randomly. It was like, hey, it's coming out next week. I am so excited. Like, I don't know if you know this. Huge Xenoblade fan. Is it coming out next week? Yes. Is he still playing it? I, I will be playing it. Don't worry. Yeah, I think people are playing it now. Are they? 
don't yeah. think so. It's out next week. I mean, da -da -da. oh, there's a donut or something. Hair cross. This is what we're talking about. But I'm really, I'm really excited. Huge, huge thing. Huge. I'm kind of behind, behind on games I want to play. Yeah. Lately, because I've actually not, I haven't even picked up a game yet. Oh yeah. And I was waiting for Breath of the Wild, so. <laughs> Or excuse the kingdom, not Breath of the Wild, sorry. Coming up soon. Like three yep. weeks, right? Yep. Very, very soon. Super excited for it. That last trailer they showed, by the way, was like really good. Didn't watch it. You absolutely should watch it. I think I'll be surprised. <laughs> you should just watch it. Dude, have you ever noticed some champs like shaking his crotch and pecks at us? Yes. He's like dry hunting us. I don't know how I feel about that. Good thing ours does. Well, it does. It doesn't from the front. It does. You just see it from the back. No, nah, it doesn't. I promise. Ours is respectable. Ours is a respectable machine. Another key. Kitchen key. That's not. I thought that was something. Else. Was that dude lock himself inside that cabin. <laughs> yes. What's in the kitchen? Oh, it is a wingle. Wild Wingle. Perhaps it's missing uh, offspring of Pelipper from Earth. It's like you were right. It's a book with some named guest. Uh, that was probably checked whether the passenger was done. Let's go this way. Also, why did these two get locked up? How are people yeah, getting like, locked up? Like, why don't you just like, knock, lock the door? Or knock, knock on the door? <laughs> well, are people getting locked in these? Why does, why does no one care? <laughs> it's a better question. They just do. Oh, well, I was gonna say the same thing about the sucking ship too. Although I, I think that one is just like people salvage diving. Probably. Physical or special for Mark? What? Mark physical or special? I think it's physical. Special defense though. Special offensive. What about Muck as a Pokemon? I think I should draft it. If you want a special if you, it's basically the opposite of the opposite defense wise of Coughing, I think. Wheezing? Or wheezing. Sucker. Played. I just played this person, Beth. You see that play? Now it's gonna foul play me? This is. <laughs> I see that play. Nothing. Get out of here. Physical hell, dude. I don't know. There's so many Pokemon to draft. We end up getting like excellent. We end up getting about thirty Pokemon. If that makes sense. I wonder if uh Cradle will be good. Air Fortress is pretty good. Cradle is like all recovery and that's about it. Well it gets really early ancient power and it's got a really good topic. I don't know. I feel like Electrode might be kind of nice, too. Alright, I'm not picking Electrode just for that. Oh, I forgot about Snow Run and Glalie. They're bad. Don't use them. <laughs> You're so all fast. Right. All, all, all of these stats are 80. That's almost like Mew. All of Mew stats are 100. There's a big difference. Ah, just 20. Yeah, that, that's all the difference it needs. Just 20 in every stat, though. I am gonna have to go buy some money. We have a lot of money, I'm pretty sure. Uh, da, da. How much money do we actually have? I think that's a lot. Fair bit of law. Alright, let's see what this guy's got. He's keeping this Winkle hostage for some reason. Uh, we will lead. Who's it not? Oh, everybody's level 60. Uh, we'll eat Chokma. And we'll get this PP up. Oh. This place is haunted. What if this Swingle actually isn't here? Oh, you're using one of it isn't here? Yeah. By the way, this guy said this place is haunted and he has a Marowak. Coincidence? Yeah. I think not. That's a cool hand on your shoulder, though. Oh yeah, look at that. Slowbro. Should I be afraid of a slowbro? 
Nah. You're right. I think Trico's the play. I think Trico's gonna win. win <laughs> Ooh, Nido King. Don't be afraid of a Nido King. I think Nido King's really good. Though. I don't think Nido King gets Sheer Force in Gen Three. No, Sheer Force didn't exist till Gen Five. Really? I thought it was Gen yep. Four ability. Nope. Either way, I feel like Nido King's a, a really solid pick. Just like stats, really strong Pokemon. Oh, we got an old Gato. Uh, flying war. You've gained his trust. <coughs> it's relieved. Oh, there you go, Death. Well, are you two all right? Ah, you're the kid who built me out in Grand Deep City. Surprised to see me here. A little bit, yeah. Now a letter carrier from Terra is going to, to the most unusual places. I'm just here to deliver a letter to this Pelipper. Just kidding. Pelipper wouldn't have the hands open a letter. <laughs> what a jokester. No, I'm just visiting an old friend here. You have to know, this Pelipper here used to be my supervisor at the Pelipper Post. We have lovingly named, nicknamed her Melipper. Excellent. And eventually the job became too stressful for her, and I helped her find a quiet place to retire. I think she likes it here. She even got an offspring. Where's the father? A real whirlwind. He le he went to go get milk, Def. <laughs> he often runs away and worries his mother. Oh, you already had the pleasure and gotten to meet Wingle? Isn't he adorable? Sometimes he makes a big mess, but that's how kids are. I often, I often see myself in him. <laughs> well, anyway. It was like you did my friend a favor. Here, take this as a little thank you. I found it here in the captain's cabin when I was cleaning it out for Malipur. Now, now it's only one L. I have no clue what it's good for, but I'm sure you'll find a use for it. <laughs> Next time you're in the neighborhood, stop by. Malipur and Wingle are sure glad to see you. So, what do you think that does? Well, you can look at it and find out. Let's look at it and see. Good plan. Uh, it was. We've got this meteor orb too. Yeah, it comes from this side. It raids a lively aura. I got no idea. Do not want to quit. That could have been. It is, it's not. It's now time to undo everything we did this episode. That would kind of suck. I'll be honest. Um, I think uh, this is probably a good spot to call it. Uh, next episode we do a lot of plot. I have a feeling. A lot of plot. A lot, a lot of plot, actually. Uh, I will probably grind up a whole new team before then, though. Or EV, re-EV everyone. Because EVs will make this game way easier, funny enough. So yeah, uh, until then, we'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye. Later. Hey everyone, thanks so much for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. It's hard to believe we're over a thousand subscribers and we're marking our way up to 2,000. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, it helps out a ton. And I'll see you guys next time.